third and five for Colorado State. And Ruff gets it. He's not going anywhere. In fact, he'll lose a couple. Alan Harper among those coming in to make the stop. And Colorado State's first offensive series, not quite what they had in mind. Well, they... Second and ten, they called it a no gain as a big game for Gaines. He gets the first down and a whole lot more. Gallimore trying to chase him down. And finally, Justin and Jason Gallimore, the twin brothers, get Gaines, but not before he gets all the way down to the 11-yard line. A 57-yard gain for Paris. Well, this was a quick hitter. He was through there before Colorado State knew what was happening. Great blocking, though, on the inside. And then a wonderful move there. The Gallimores guilty of a penalty here. Gallimores oh, wants to push him out of bounds. Yeah, I thought that was... A 57-yard run. Hit him in 13. Fresno State, he has five receivers in all. Carr keeps it himself. Gets around one tackle, heading for the end zone. Jason Gallimore pushing him out of bounds. Bernard Berrien with a good block. Unlike the first play, that David was designed. And we talked about the athleticism of Van Pelt. Carr has some wheels. And more importantly than that, he has some smarts. Get up going back into the eye now. A little play action into the end zone and touchdown for Fresno State. The tight end, Steven Spock, bringing it in. Spock, that is his first touchdown of the season. And I don't know if that's a little disheartening, Dean. They got a couple of uh, penalties and still Fresno yeah. State able yeah. to punch it in, and they take the 6-0 lead. Well, Burn taking the lead against Florida. South Carolina and Washington have already lost today. Van Pelt, perhaps his strength, he shows it, runs for the first down as he gets it past the 40-yard line. Maurice Rodriguez with the stop. Terrific play by Van Pelt. Big guy. They pitch it back to Ruff. He gets a lot of room. The first down and Moore breaks a tackle. Ruff finally is tackled around the 15. That's a 25-yard gain on third and one. Like I said, just run you a quarterback <laughs> sneak. Well, I can come back and say that that's what they thought he was going to do. And so on first and goal. Childs cuts inside, breaks a tackle, and scores the touchdown. Yeah, it looked like he may have, may have fumbled, but he didn't. One ten from the 20. And going through the air right away is David Carr. That will be a first down to Charles Smith, the senior from Union City, California, the 40. Pitch back to Childs. Nowhere to go, and he goes down. So you're going to lose a couple of yards. Grant Harrington coming up to make the stop. Fresno runs well. I mean, you hear that about a lot of teams around the country, but this one really does. Dan Brown has a defense that everyone there can run, including the down men, Alan Harper and Jason Stewart. The running back, Josh Levi, we will see throughout the night, but Carr goes in the air, completes it out to Mark Hay Davis, who picks up the first down as he is taken down around the 33, that's a 17-yard gain. So many weapons for this team. Five interceptions and four touchdown passes on the season. Hands it off to Ruff. And he is roughed up, and he is uh, dropped immediately. Well, Nick Burley, a junior from East Palo Alto, with the stop. Catches in his last two games plus. Pitch back to Ruff. Cuts it inside, and he is cut down after a short gain by Cameron Morrell, the strong safety. This is not even a gain, it's a loss of one. So that's second and 11 coming up. That's pretty good. They run a lot of safety blitzes. And that's... And they're only 10 and 17 on the road overall under Pat Hill since he took over. First and 10, Carr whips it out, finds his receiver, and that is Charles Smith, who gets it up around the first down marker. And that brings up second and 15. They had a big play last week negated against Louisville because of a penalty. Still trying to find the big plays. Instead, go back to your bread and butter, Dwayne Ruff, and he is stopped for a loss. Grant Harrington coming up. Usually are just 20% so far, one of five. This is third and 10. Carr 
gets the pass complete. That's a first down for Barriott. Barriott tackled near the 40-yard line. That's a 19-yard gain. And that is Bernard Barriott's first Eddie catch Bryant of this game. Cornerback fell down on this. Number two, it's Woods. Watch him just now on your screen. Right there. He fell down. That made the play work. A couple of twos working on each other. And move the chains. You see Bernard with 28 catches coming in tonight, two tonight. That was his first catch. He's fifth in the country in all-purpose yards as a returner and as a receiver. 197 and a half yards a game on average. First down from the 40. Carr looking for Rodney Wright, and he gets his wide receiver for another first down. He's into Colorado State territory. Yeah, yes. I think they were disguising a blitz. I think they'll drop back. Yes, they are. He does have time to throw, looking, and he completes it to Charles Smith. And Smith is tackled on around the 22-yard line. That's a 27-yard gain for Smith. A couple of things here. Look at the gun on Carr, and look at Smith after he catches the ball. A quick spin, and he gets around Aaron Sprague, who does a poor job of trying to tackle it. Smith has four catches for 50 yards tonight. The senior from Union City actually just getting back to full speed. He sprained a knee ligament in the final interest squad scrimmage in mid-August. As much velocity as that ball had on it, it gives the receiver time to make a play. And he did. Five wide receivers. He finds Barion, and he is hit head-on around the 12-yard line. Drew Wood. And that's going to be close to another Fresno State first down. That passing game starting to click finally for Carr. And this is one of their favorite plays. It's going to be a middle screen from the outside. Outside receiver coming under. Offensive line clearing the way. Look downfield. The offensive lineman, T2 Tua, leading the way downfield at about the 10 yard line. Nicely done, Penn. Nicely done. From now on, we'll refer to him as a send. I worked in three to two odd. You came back with that. And that field goal is good. So Asan Asparuhov now 10 for 10 from 29 yards and in Florida State. At, uh, Florida State. Fresno State <laughs> has taken the lead. Florida State's already FSU, lost. F field goal. 10-7, and Colorado State gets the ball for the first time here in the second half. Dexter Wynn collects it at his five. And is just mowed down. Is that Brett Vicentainer, the kicker, got all the way down there? Oh, couldn't wow. have been. Couldn't have been. David Adamo was taking, down there. I'm taking the under on all that right. one. I think it might have been David Adamo, actually, who got down there. Let's take a look at the Fresno Right back to rough, and this time nothing doing. Alan Harper plugging up the middle well. Right at Colorado State. Second and nine. Van Pelt again takes off. Slips, gets by two, three, four tacklers. He's all low. Can they chase him down? No. Touchdown, Rams. gets the first down. He heads up the sideline. Finally, he is pushed out of bounds, but not before he gets a first down. And he is up at the 43-yard line of Fresno. Eric Penn. And again, they do take every precaution necessary. His mom is uh, Claudette back in Bakersfield. And Barion gets it. Big, big game. Knocked down there by Jason Gallimore. It's going to be first and goal for Fresno State from the eight. Well, that's right where my eyes were because that was a one-on-one -on -one situation, a skinny post route, and this guy can hum it. I mean, this ball is right on the money. And Berrien is very explosive once he catches it. He has those, he has those skinny legs. Carr knows that one is zipped on the money, and now he has a chance to take it in and take the lead. Berrien, Big time. His first attempt from 24. Sent us from Bulgaria. Play soccer for the Bulgarian Air Force. He's a heck of a kicker. 
He's got two field goals, and Fresno State has cut the lead to one. Very rather a tough one for Ruff. It's second and eight. Pitch it back to Dwayne Ruff. Not much room. Tries to cut it back, but Dwayne is tackled for a loss. Great pursuit that time, led by Grant Harrington. Five. The pump fake. He's going for Rodney Wright. He has it for the first down in Colorado State territory. So Rodney Wright and Carr connecting for 25 yards. It's going to be able to free safety all over him. We mentioned a Kansas wide receiver, one of the many positions that Henri played. So it's first down from the 25. And Henri Child just breaking loose. Pass midfield and shot out at the 38-yard line of Fresno State. Verner has up his sleeve. Play action. Looking and finding Smith. Charles Smith with the reception into Colorado State territory. Aaron Sprague with the tackle. You know, you look at Carr, miss a few short passes, and you go, well, well what's so special about this guy? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a big-time throw. Over the top of the linebacker, inside the safety, and under, excuse me, inside the corner, and underneath the safety. It's a four-yard game, four games, second and six. Good pressure by Peter Hogan. Carr gets away from him and finally throws it to Barian, who gets it at the 15. And boy, Carr was getting really close to the line of scrimmage, wasn't he, Dean? Hey, that's big time, though. I mean, I'm telling you, Pam, this guy is doing it. We said that it's on his shoulders. Carr is making the plays. First of all, containment looks like it has it. Carr uses his feet, gets around Hogan. Now it looks like he has to run it. Finds Berrien, though, throws back across his body and takes the lick. He's making the plays. So that was Adam Wade who came in and stuck him, but that's a terrific play. First and 10 now from the 15. Carr looking, finding, touchdown. Alec Greco, the tight end, and Fresno State takes the lead back on the 15-yard touchdown pass. They're up five. They'll go for two. That's one of those plays that you... The offensive coordinator has it in his playbook. If we get in this situation, we do this. We get in this situation, we do this. They go play action, perfectly, ex perfectly executed. Doubles action for you. NFL tonight will air at 1 a.m. Pacific time, by the way. So we've got tennis coming up, and we're finished here. Rodney Wright with the catch, and that's another first down for Fresno State, an 11-yard gain. Well, it's 3 o'clock, by the way. Is it Chris? <laughs> Brad Van Pelt, Bradley Van Pelt getting out of trouble, running into his own guy, and he's still going. First down and more for Van Pelt. He's in close to midfield, finally goes down. What an effort by Van Pelt, a 34-yard gain. Underneath and pick up that first down if at all possible. Van Pelt, blitz coming, gets it over the middle. David Carr has to go score a touchdown. Van Pelt rolling, looking. Two-point conversion, good. Joel Dreesen going up, bringing it down. And the lead is now three. Wow. You know, that was one carry and 54 yards passing, five of six on the air. Talk about coming of age. That could be it for Van Pelt. This could be it for Fresno State. And our variant says, forget about it. That goes deep. Another touchback. Another great kickoff for Jeff Babcock. So three timeouts remaining for David Carr and Fresno State. They have 27 seconds to go 80 yards. Varian made a wise decision. He would have never run that out, but you never would have anyway because you wouldn't want to run, run the time off the clock. Very intelligent decision right by Barry. Of course, 80 yards from the end zone, but they only need a field goal. Aspera and they're a field goal kicker. Asparuhoff has a pretty good leg. He's hit from 24 and 34 tonight. Fresno will take overtime in a heartbeat. Three timeouts allows you to do a lot of things, though. 
Carr has big play guys. Goes with that middle screen to Paris Gaines, and Gaines gets the first down and goes out of bounds. Perfect play for Fresno. It's a 14-yard gain. Clock stops with 18 seconds left. Yeah, you get your yardage, you get out of bounds. I think you've got to throw some things over the middle, though. This is a really unusual call, though, because middle screens aren't normally going to go for 40 yards. You've got to throw it over the middle. Still with three timeouts left to go. First and 10 from the 34. Out of shotgun. Carr forced to take off. Looking, finding his man. Rodney Wright. First down catch at the 49 of Colorado State. Big time throw. Fresno still alive. Flushed from the pocket. Carr was able to find his man on the move. Bullet, pinpoint, first and 10. Pat Hill's going to take his first time out. Seconds left to go. Bulldogs still have two timeouts. Carr changing it up. I think he's looking on the, at the, on the right side, Barry in one-on-one. -on -one. Single coverage with both receivers, and he completes it for another first down to right. Clock tie the game. Can't exaggerate this, really. Their season is on the line. What a Cinderella year for Fresno. They have to knock this through and go to overtime to keep their hopes alive. He's 5 of 10, and over 40 yards in his career. 3 of 4 this season. Again, the, the uh, career high is 45 yards. This is 48. The kick is nailed. No time left. Unbelievable. A yard to go for the first down. Didn't get it. Boy, Ruck is just stacked up. They lose Didn't some. Sam Williams, huge. Clogging up the middle. And Fresno State, it'll be their turn. Yeah, it's easy to second guess a call. But Fresno State is thinking right up the middle. Thinking either quarterback sneak Sam Williams comes in 40. You're plugging right there. Great form tackle by the linebacker. Alan Harper was down low as well, getting some pressure on Ruff. And you wonder if it was not for Van Pelt's hurt arm, maybe you sneak him. But maybe yeah. the injury had something to do yeah. with the decision to go to Ruff to a big bowl game. Asperuhoff, the left-footed kicker from 41 for the win. And it is good. So Fresno State rides that left foot of Osper Ruhoff. They were so close to losing. Instead, the Bulldogs go to 6-0 on the season. What a remarkable comeback when it looked like they were down and out. You could say David Carr was a hero. And he got him into the end zone, and then he got him into field, book, field goal position, but he wasn't. Your kicker was. 41-yard field goal wins it. Dexter Wynn and the rest of the Colorado State Rams, a terrific effort just coming up short in overtime. Oscar Ruhoff. <laughs> it's just another day of the park for him. Another day at the office. Look at it. And again, no doubt about it, right down the middle. So Pat Hill's club remains unbeaten. He said coming in that this would be a tough game, and yeah. it certainly was. Yeah. Fresno State plays no team left on their schedule. They go now only whack games. No team that they play from here on out, including tonight against Colorado State, had a winning record. So congratulations to Fresno State. David Carr and company win it 25-22.